Some NPC just yelled, your actions are foolish. <laughs> I have no idea what the fuck I just said. Anyway, um, alright, I have uh, returned. So I've just um, used the weird glowy point to uh, contact Timey. Someone is doing something down there. Yeah, they're fighting some um, eels, sand eels. Yeah, so we just spoke to Timey. We told her uh, that we've sort of touched ground in the Crystal Desert and we told her about Vlast, Orin's brother. Um, and hopefully be able to contact him, and Zdalambur, the, like, the leader of the Homocene smugglers, he's tell, like, after we saved his ass from the awakened Dusa Balawa Joko, um, after we saved his ass, he has now informed us he's found a lead on Balthazar. Because, essentially... Uh, hi there. Did you happen to come from the south? That's right. I came from the Elon Riverlands. May I ask you a few questions about modern Ilona, on behalf of the Durman Priory? I'm afraid I won't be much help to you. My entire family was exiled from the kingdom when I was a child. Exiled? Am I correct in understanding that you left Palawa Joko's dominion unwillingly? My parents' sedition cost us any chance to ever be awakened. We were sent to the work farms outside the Bone Wall. You regret losing a chance to join an army of the undead. King Joko awakens his citizens to care for and protect their families forever. His greatest blessing. Now lost to us. I, uh, uh... I'm sorry to hear that. Thank you for your time. Okay, that... I'm glad that played, because, okay, there are some very big cultural... Look at this. Alright, okay. There are some very big cultural differences between, um, the Elonians of today and the Elonians of hundreds of years ago, or Elonians of Mosh, I don't know say it exactly. But the ones from Guild Wars 1 were horrified at the prospect of serving Joko uh, for eternity. Excuse me, sir. Can you speak? Prince Joko, am I? I may do just that, but may I ask a few questions first? You, bye. You praised Palawa Joko just now for granting you awareness, reanimating you? You, bye. I see. But what brought you all the way here from Alona to ply your wares? You, by now. Yes, of course. Uh, would it be possible to get a receipt of purchase so that I can expense it to the Priory? No. <laughs> okay. Um, just gonna turn on the NPC dialogue. Yeah, so, and here we see that, uh, despite the fact that the, uh, really is until recently, the uh, Amnoon has stood against the Awakened, they are able to sell their goods here and their propaganda and all these statues of Palawa Joker. So this is a rough depiction of what Palawa Joker looks like, just uh, all this stuff here. Um, yeah. Well, let's keep moving. Yeah, so, the people of Alona today, they see this being resurrected into these undead monsters as a privilege. To them, it's their afterlife. It's very prestigious. Um, so you can see that they've had a great deal of cultural difference, perhaps due to, like, brainwashing. Um, and I don't mean, like, sort of, like, magical brainwashing. I just mean, like, cultural brainwashing. Um, to the point where they now believe this is a very good thing, and they praise Joko as their leader. It's like she described it as Joko's greatest blessing, with, like, almost a loving, like, um voice you should have seen iman's face when we said we were leaving because we were invited to the casino by its owner <laughs> anyone who gets that reaction out of a stuffed shirt almost made me think i might like this zalambur guy i heard he donates generously to cormier's priesthood they fell over themselves to bless his name maybe amnon should put him in charge I'm surprised that council's not debating the merits of pyramids versus cubes. You might want to meet him before endorsing him for political office. So you can see, yeah, like Ritlock favors people who just get shit done regardless of the rules. Very important for him later. Um, and, uh... Kanak, what are you doing here? Enjoying your time off? Freedom is a sweet drink, Commander. I've been busy quenching my thirst. You should join us. We were just about to meet with- Zalambur. I already know a thing or two about this place. A Silvari gambler who's up 500 gold is just my cover, I promise you. Now that he's free, it's okay if I kill him, right? <laughs> Gentlemen, let's keep it civil. How about it, Kanak? While my freedom's been gratifying, it's also a little boring. This is much more interesting. Besides, I may have made a wager that the Slayer of Elder Dragons can take down a god. 
and I intend to collect. What are the odds? <laughs> Let's not jinx it, Commander. Right, so Kanark is literally trying to um, turn our exploits in the personal story as like taking down other dragons into a gambling business. Uh, touche. Alright, anyway, let's move. Hello? Right here. Welcome back, Commander. It's an honor to have the members of Dragon's Watch in my humble establishment. Please, follow me. The Grand Zaheel is already back to running at full capacity, and no small part due to your earlier intervention. We have all the finest games and entertainment the Crystal Desert has to offer. Do you enjoy games of chance? When the odds are in our favor. I reached out across my network for information about Balthazar, and I think I know what he's after. Kralkatorik. You're half right. He's currently hunting down a crystal dragon, but that dragon is a blast. I wonder why he'd suddenly changed targets. Who among us can understand the will of a god? Do you know his forged army has encampments all over the Crystal Desert? He stops at these camps to rally his troops while he's on the Dragon's Trail. So we might be able to intercept him at one of the forged camps. You've come through, Zalambor. I actually don't regret keeping you alive. The feeling is mutual, Commander. I'll take my leave now. Enjoy your time here, please. Stay away from the high-stakes roulette. It's rigged. I knew it. <laughs> uh, so Zalem was saying the feeling's mutual in terms of I don't regret keeping you alive. Uh, we killed two Elder Dragons. I'd be interested to see what you could throw at us. And you'd be dead if not for us. Uh, well, me, anyway. You guys didn't help. Okay. So, who's up for a trip to one of these camps? Sounds good to me. Let's shut him down before he's responsible for anyone else's death. We don't want to rush in blindly. And if I'm going to be joining you again, I may as well make myself useful. I'll scout the main camp, see what I see, and report back. The main camp? On your own? Hmm, seems risky. Nah, not alone. I'll go with him. Hmm. Not the response I expected. Hey, vacations have a way of dulling a blade, so to speak. Can't let you fumble around unsupervised. That's more like it. All right. Kaz and I will check out the smaller outposts. Actually, I'll leave it to you if you don't mind. I have some matters to attend to. There's a temple of Cormir near one of the forged camps. You can find me there when you're done. So Kazmir is deciding to go on a pilgrimage while uh, the whole world is falling apart. Very interesting. Um, although I suppose if she manages to get some help from the priests, of, like priests and priestesses of Cormir, maybe that is something to work with. I mean, they they also deal with divinity. Now, let's get the forge camps. Speak with Captain Rahim. Where are you, Captain Rahim? Let's just waypoint over there. All right. I really like the, like the look of Amnu, I just I love it so much. Just even pyramids, even just down to the smaller scale. Um. Captain, I'm glad I caught you. A high commander. It would seem you survived the den of vipers in Zalambor's casino. Zalambor was reluctantly helpful. He said the forged had set up camps in the area. My team is scouting the main camp, but I need to know where any of the smaller posts might be. Actually, there are two forged outposts outside the city walls. They mostly provide reinforcements and tactical support for the main camp. It would make sense to take those out before attacking the main camp then. Kill the cavalry before they can come to the rescue. And it might cut back their raids on our city. You'll find one outpost to the north, and the other to the east. I've posted my cavaliers outside them. They can fill you in on what to expect inside. Let's go. Did a race just start? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, some some races just start. Uh, right. So where are we going? Let's head north first. Haven't really been up here much yet. 
I'm just gonna turn there up room in the my volume on my end, so that should make me talk a bit louder, hopefully. Um, and that way, <coughs> won't have to worry too much about poor audio quality with the mic, or at least worry as much. Now, what exactly? In my How does this mission go again? Hello, what are you? A high stranger. Be cautious if you're heading north. The Forge have set up artillery at their camp just ahead. The casino owner in Amnoon told me the war god Balthasar rallies his troops in this camp. You can never have too much treasure. Ah, Zalambor. I haven't seen Balthazar come around here, but the Forge are nasty enough on their own, especially now with the cannons and all. Well, I can put the Forge and their cannons out of commission. Um, uh, maybe you can leave a couple standing. I really need to keep this post. Um, uh, why? Uh, alright. Let's make the counter, I guess, sabotage the counter replacements. I, I, fuck you, I'm, I'm killing everything. Uh, okay. Alright. Let's, let's sky scale it. Right, zip over here, and, hello. You can't escape. I I'm not trying to. Strong! Okay, yeah, and so we learned something very interesting. So, Balthazar is now after Blast. So, is he just trying to... Because Blast would definitely have some power, like, um, because Glint was born, um, well, not born, but Glint has the power of Krakatoa because she was a, like, a champion of his, but she's been cleansed of dragon corruption. So she has crystal magic that, um, isn't actually, like, corrupted and dangerous. So if Blast would have that same power, so maybe Balthazar wants those abilities specifically, or killing Blast will just give a power boost, because he is still, he, like, he does still need to boost his strength. Because, like, keep in mind, Balthazar, for whatever reason, has lost a great deal of his power, it seems. Like he said, they abated me, they dimmed my light. And, he, like, Balthazar from Guild Wars 1, he could have gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with an Elder Dragon straight away, but this Balthazar had to get power from a Bloodstone and rip some power out of Jewel Mag and Prime Mortis. So... This one definitely seems to be on the hunt for resources. And so, which means Blast is, is in danger, which on the upside, if you know how friendly he is, it might help us ingratiate ourselves if we save him from Balthazar. Um, because keep in mind, in the Edge of Destiny novel, Glint nearly killed Destiny's Edge when they first met. She didn't actually know they were there to help. Um, so Blast may have a similar dynamic, it's hard to say. Although perhaps he would know of Destiny's Edge and be more friendly to, to um, ordinary mortals. Uh, but there's a lot we don't know about him. Just like she said, no sign of Balthazar. But at least there are fewer forged to threaten Amnoon. Maybe I'll have better luck at the other outpost. Excuse me. Okay, so there's a gin, some sand lions, and um, is that a player? Oh, that is a player, and a hydra fighting. Alright, I'll help these guys out. Oh, this person's already dead. I'm not doing this on my own, and I don't need to, because I've already done this before. Because when I was getting um, the stuff I needed for Torix build, I already did that. But yeah, that's just a little sample of uh, that particular hero point. It is a very hard one, it, mainly because of the hydra. Like, the gin is challenging, but the hydra just comes in and just like steamrolls through everything. This guy is still following me, god damn it. Um, Alright. I may just cut that whole thing out. Um, right, excuse me, thank you. So we're seeing, this seems to be an old village uh, outside of Amnoon that's been taken over by the Forged. Um, and there's a, oh shit, there's a Forged raiding party coming in. Oh no, 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 I don't wanna, ah, fuck. Alright, 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 we'll quickly get inside the village. I wanna fight these guys all at once. Oh wait, I'm speaking to a Cavalier. Um, I think I'll come in here later. Uh, don't worry about me, I was never here. <laughs> Stealth 100. Over here. Captain Rahim said you could help me. Have you ever seen Balthazar at this camp? If Balthazar ever showed up at this camp, you'd be talking to an empty tent. I'm just here to observe and report. I'm hoping to find clues on what Balthazar's up to. You can stay here cowering in the shadows if you'd prefer. Thanks for understanding. I have seen couriers delivering dispatches. They might contain intel about Balthazar's battle plans. I should have sent Ridlock to this camp. Saved myself some trouble. 
Whoa! Okay, she's mind us being a bit of an asshole there. Like, not everyone's as cool as, cool as us. Um, alright. Let's go back Where in. is that intel? Hi, I'm back. I was never here. I, just, uh, I may have got the video, we'll see. What's this? No luck. But I'm not giving up. Uh, Aha. Ah. Okay, hang on. One moment. Excuse uh -huh. me. So they're collecting branded crystals? Why? One. Oh shit. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, aha, uh -huh, I know. Just shut up. This looks interesting. Aha. Uh Aha, -huh. uh -huh, I know, yeah. How does full collection of crystals from, uh, shards from the brand? Examine the shards. Blue's brand of shards uh, clearly resonate with magic. There is nothing to indicate their intended purpose or why the forge would be collected. Okay. What's this? No good. Aha. Uh -huh. Nothing here. How would the forge communicate? Would they even use written letters? It seems like they're building something though, some metal parts. Um, what else we got? Forged plate. The ornate metal plate appears to have been crafted to fit some sort of machine. Examine the plate, and the metalwork is exquisitely detailed and made of a dense and resilient alloy. It appears to be a small part of a larger set. Without the, the other pieces, its purpose is unclear. So they're definitely building something, perhaps some sort of siege weapon? I mean, we saw some cannons at the other outpost. Okay. A piece of discarded forged armor. Two camps and still no sign of Balthazar. At least now we won't have to worry about leaving our flanks exposed at the main camp. Hopefully Ritlock and Kanak had more luck scouting it out. Alright, so let's keep moving to the east. Yeah, sorry, so I cut that a lot of that out because that took an absurdly long time to search that tiny camp. Um, because enemies just kept respawning, which meant you couldn't interact with the objects. Oh, there's a, someone with a pretty cool kind of skin there. Um, yeah. Anyway, but um, so yeah, I, I left in the parts where we gather our findings, and that last one was some forged armor that had clearly seen battle, like it would have been charred by something. So maybe maybe the forged have already had some skirmishes with the blast. But the main event 